In season 17 of Sister Wives, it was revealed that Christine Brown had left Cody and relocated to Utah. Towards the end of the show, Gwendolyn Brown disclosed that John L. had also departed, and Christine admitted that she and Cody had separated. The question remains, is this separation permanent or is there hope for reconciliation? It remains to be seen whether Christine will take on the role of the new Mary Brown. Fans witnessed John L. and Cody's clash during the latest season of the TLC show. At one point, Cody ranted at John L., causing her to walk out. John L. had previously expressed that Cody was not the center of her universe, so it was not surprising that she stood up for herself. Although John L.'s children appeared to support her decision to separate, it remains unclear whether she has spiritually divorced Cody. Sister Wives viewers have long been amazed that Mary Brown has not left Cody despite their rocky relationship. Instead, she has remained on the periphery of the family, which has puzzled many fans. Mary has frequently discussed spirituality on her social media, which has not helped viewers understand her situation any better. Some have wondered if her faith has kept her tied to Cody, even if she is not loved. It is possible that John L. may also choose to remain in the family due to her own faith. Katie Joy, who spoke with an anonymous source for Without a Crystal Ball, has reported that John L. has no plans to remarry. Like Mary Brown, John L. believes that she is eternally bound to Cody under their faith. According to Katie's Instagram post, John L. has assumed a position similar to Mary's for many years. Although she is not technically with Cody, their faith prohibits her from dating or marrying anyone else. For viewers of Sister Wives who do not share the same faith as the Brown family, the idea of being eternally bound to someone you are miserable with may seem extraordinary. One commenter on Katie Joy's Instagram posts expressed confusion, saying, I still fail to comprehend why, if you're miserable in a marriage with someone, you would want to be saddled with them for all eternity. Many other commenters on the post echoed similar sentiments, discussing the difficulties of understanding the Brown's unique beliefs and practices. According to the faith followed by the sister wife's family, a woman can be released from her husband. It is rumored that Cody released Mary from their marriage. It is unclear if Cody is likely to release John L. or if she even desires that. John L. has referred to Cody as a friend over the years, and she may be content to remain in the family without being his physical wife due to their shared beliefs. It is possible that John L.'s faith will guide her decision regarding her relationship with Cody in the future. What are your thoughts? Shout out in the comments below. After season 17 of Sister Wives, Cody Brown is left with only one functioning marriage. Although fans have suspected this for years, the Brown family is now opening up about the issues that led to the downfall of their plural family. Many family members are blaming Robin Brown's arrival as the catalyst for the trouble. To understand the situation better, let's take a look back at how Cody and Robin first met. During a date with his first wife, Mary Brown, Cody Brown met his fourth wife, Robin Brown. The Brown family recently disclosed that Cody first noticed Robin while visiting a friend with Mary. Later, they crossed paths once more at a church-sponsored event where their romance began. Afterward, Robin agreed to meet the other Brown wives, and once they approved, she and Cody started courting. At the beginning of their relationship, Cody frequently made the four-hour journey from the family's home in Lehi, Utah, to Street George, Utah, where Robin lived with her three children. Despite being busy with three wives, one of whom was pregnant, Cody Brown made time for an extended courtship with Robin, which was longer than he was used to. Cody and Robin were open about their relationship both on Sister Wives and in their book, Becoming Sister Wives. According to the couple, they dated for six months before deciding to blend their families. They had a spiritual wedding in May 2010 and their son, Solomon, was born in October 2011. Later, Cody Brown and Robin Brown made things official by getting legally married, and Cody divorced Mary Brown to do so. For a long time, Robin maintained that she joined the Brown family because she wanted to live a plural lifestyle. However, over a decade later, Robin and Cody are now monogamous, leading some Sister Wives fans to speculate that this was a conscious decision rather than a coincidence. How exactly did this transition occur? It's difficult to identify the exact moment when the Brown family transitioned from a plural family to a monogamous couple with peripheral wives. Some fans believe that Cody Brown and Mary Brown's legal divorce altered the power dynamic, leading to this shift. Others speculate that the family's move from Las Vegas, Nevada, to Flagstaff, Arizona, played a role in the change. If we had to identify one change that marked the end of polygamy for the family, it would probably be the move from Las Vegas to Flagstaff. The family's houses were now spread out across the city, 
making the logistics of living in a plural marriage more difficult. Additionally, the move was planned around the needs of Robin's eldest son, Dayton Brown, without taking anyone else's needs into consideration, which led to resentment building up. Finally, the COVID-19 protocols that kept the family apart were likely the last straw. Regardless of how the transition occurred, Cody Brown and Robin Brown are now living as a monogamous couple. Fans of sister wives are curious to see if they will continue in this lifestyle. Looking ahead to the future, Mary Brown is making plans. The sister wife personality is optimistic about what she envisions. Over the weekend, the 52-year-old shared a TikTok video in which she encouraged her friends, fans, and followers to persevere in the face of disappointment, urging them to keep going. While Mary didn't explicitly mention her ex-husband, Cody Brown, in the video, it's difficult to imagine that she wasn't alluding to their separation when she spoke about overcoming disappointment. Success comes from experience. Experience comes from failure, wrote Mary as a caption, adding, failure is not a failure unless you stop. Failure is only a step toward your success. It's part of the process. Several weeks ago, Mary was seemingly compelled to distance herself from Cody after the polygamous patriarch publicly stated that he no longer regarded himself as being married to his first spouse. After being confronted with this statement, Mary was forced to confront the reality that her relationship with Cody had come to an end long ago. After more than a decade of working on our relationship in our own unique ways, we have made the decision to permanently terminate our marriage relationship, Cody and Mary said on January 10. During this process, we are committed to kindness and respect toward each other and to all members of our family, concluded the exes today. Furthermore, we are dedicated to fostering the ongoing healing of all relationships within the family in order to move forward with a spirit of forgiveness, grace, and love. At the time, Mary made it clear that she harbored no ill will toward Cody. I am not, and pray that I never will be, in a place where I will enjoy making or seeing you make rude and demeaning comments about him. She wrote alongside the aforementioned statement. In the last few days, some social media users have been curious about Mary's current relationship status, with some even speculating that she might be romantically involved with a woman. Last week, Mary responded to these speculations in a playful manner, indicating that she was well aware of the rumors. Shuckling as she spoke, Brown informed her followers that she is, in fact, straight, before going on to say, I made an announcement. Now that you all know. You heard it from my mouth, I'm coming out as being straight. In January, on the other hand, Mary was confronted with accusations that she had been verbally and even physically abusive in the past. Abrasive is not enough of a word to explain what Mary was to a few of us children specifically. During a YouTube live interview with blogger John Yates, Payton, the son of Christine, made these allegations. It moves so far past verbal. Verbal basically stopped existing. Me Kulti agreed with her brother shortly afterward, telling folks. She was very emotionally and verbally abusive to all of us when we were younger. As of yet, Mary has not explicitly refuted these allegations, 